one, go. Hi, I'm Jen. I just moved to Boulder a couple months ago. Um, right now I'm currently training for Grandma's Marathon this summer. A couple races in between, but shorter ones. And I'm gonna go through my post-workout routine. This morning I actually did my, probably my longest workout in maybe ever, um, 10 by 1K. Um, here at East Boulder Rec, so everyone's favorite spot in Boulder. Um, so first, I do some lunges. So they're just quick. How many of those do you do? Five on each side. And then we're going 10 squats. And this is after like a really, really hard day, so nothing too strenuous. Just kind of like a cool down, get the muscles fired up. And then doing 10 jump squats. Oh, it's hard today. Okay. It's hard up here in the mountains. Okay. Now I'm gonna open up my hamstring and work on balance. Five on each side. Started with my good leg. And then I go through that two or three times. I was recently told I'm too flexible for a runner, so I actually don't do a lot of stretching anymore, mostly rolling. And this roller went all around South America with me. I only had a 50, 50 liter backpack. So this was the only uh, recovery tool that made the, made the cut. So I always, usually before every run and then after, um, I'll roll out the arches in my foot. The only injuries I've had the past like, two years have been my feet. So I'm always trying to roll them out. Even at my desk, I work full time. So sometimes at my desk, I'll get the chair away and I'll roll my feet out. And then I like to do some toe grabs or find a spot that's sore like right in the middle and then just push on it. And I like the rolly thing a lot better. I have a little ball too, but that doesn't, it's hard to balance your foot on it. This one you just gotta go back and forth. Um, and on the side, and hit the sides there. And then I'll do some toe grabs. So I'm literally just grabbing the ground and pulling it about 20 times. And then I don't know if you'll see this one in my socks, but I'll try and stretch all my toes out. Got some plantar fasciitis in South America after rolling my ankle. So these are good to strengthen my feet back up. Haven't had any problems since, knock on wood. And then since the calf is all connected to those feet muscles, I always get my calves. So this is like pretty much what I lived on in South America and still here. I'm really feeling crazy. I'll get that glued up, use all my weight. My right foot is the one that has most of most of the problems, so I try and not forget about the left side. And then it's small. You can still get your glute real good with this sucker. 
just back and forth slowly. We get some tan lines today. It's almost about 80 degrees in Boulder today. All right, then I'll do some, after I loosen those up, I'll do some clams. So again, it's after a hard workout, so just nice and easy exercises. Squeezing your glute, letting my knee fall out. Oh, this is nice. Just take a nap down here. Five on each side. Yeah. And then I'll do a little bit of dynamic stretching. Not too much, because again, I guess I'm too flexible for running, or for a runner. Do some feet circles. I never used to really worry about my feet strength until my feet got injured a bunch, so need your feet to run. And my routine will depend on the day, or if I'm running before work or from work. Um, but this literally comes in my bag with me to work every day. So I have never have any excuses to not to not be rolling out and yeah, that's that's the the usual post-workout routine um, With a little bit of this before every run as well so, Yeah nice. Ooh.